With so much last chance you news dropping on yesterday with Isaiah Wright leaving West Georgia, JF3 deciding to transfer possibly to FAU, there was a recent tweet by DeAndre Johnson that kind of further confirms this by the way. Along with my normal workload of videos and streaming that I had to get done, I actually decided to save this one for today to see number one was there any more information that was going to come out about this which at this point there hasn't it's about 7 a.m central time right now as of the time i'm recording this video so by the time this drops a few hours later there may actually be some new news to come out shortly after which is exactly what happened when i dropped my isaiah wright video anyway if you missed any of those videos from yesterday man check out the end card at the end of the video also check the link in the description for the full playlist all right we asked the question was ronald Ali? done with football no is he done with college football it appears so on yesterday the richmond rough riders announced that they had signed defensive tackle ronald ollie they announced this on their facebook page and yeah now this is all i've really seen about this i checked ollie's twitter and i just don't see anything about it also, aside from this one post, I hadn't seen any more information, so I'm assuming that this is legit, but again, there might be some more info that comes out about this at a later time. Operating under the assumption that this is true, um, that would mean that Ali is done with college football, if I understand correctly. I'm not a thousand percent sure, because I don't really keep up with Arena League, but it's professional football technically, because you get paid. So I'm pretty sure you can't go back from that to college football. I'm pretty sure your eligibility at this point is completely done. With that being said, trying to think about this from Ali's standpoint, I don't know how desperate he might feel for money. So he may have made this short, I think, very short-sighted decision. Now, let me say this real quick. I try not to judge people. I try not to say, oh, I would have did this, I would have did that. Everybody is different. Everybody's circumstances is different. I try not to judge another man on decisions that they make. I just try to understand why they may have made the decision. Like, what would have led a person to this? Okay, you know, that's interesting. Maybe when I'm faced with a decision similar to that, I'll take this into consideration. Like, maybe this is what I should do. Maybe this is what I shouldn't do. You can learn from stuff like that. So that's kind of how I look at everything. That being said, just from my side, this looks like a very short-sighted move, man. Like a cash grab. All right, arena football players on average make about $875 a game. They also get um, signing bonuses, and they probably would have offered somebody like Ali just because of his uh, popularity. You know what I mean? His status and kind of what he brings. Maybe could sell some tickets, so they might have offered him a little bit more in a signing bonus. But we ain't talking about no significant money. We're talking about weekend money, honestly, to be honest. Versus grinding it out at a college and trying to cash in for the big bucks later by making it to the NFL. Now, technically, you can still go to the NFL from the Arena League. People, tons of players have done it. But that's a real grind. And you got to really have all your stuff on point. And we kind of know that. Ali is a bit wavering when it comes to this. I don't really think he just loves football like that, which again, I don't indict people for. I was I was kind of one of those people that fell into that same category. I was good at football, but there were other things that I was interested in, like, hey, what I'm doing now? That being said though, because I always like to kind of measure the chances of still maybe making it to the NFL, if that's even a goal of his. And with a move like this, I think those chances go down even more dramatically. I guess my biggest thing is I felt like if you really look at it, this isn't a move that's pressing, I don't think. You know, this is a move that, okay, if nothing else really worked out, you could have made this move. But the fact that you were still looking for a school last week and this week you sign it with these guys kind of tells me that they probably waived a, just a small amount of cash that seemed like a big amount of cash and you know there there it is anyway man that part is a thousand percent speculation just me trying to understand this and uh like i say that's the only source i've seen this from so if there are other sources other than the rough riders facebook page definitely let me know there's a chance this could be fake news i'm not sure but as always, man, I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit me up in the comment section, subscribe, share the video, and I'll holler at y'all next time. Flimlo Raps, one.